How do you become a math expert? And what does that even mean? There's so much mathematics out there that you could actually spend your entire life studying mathematics and you wouldn't know everything. In fact, that's what many people do, right? Mathematicians, they spend their entire lives, you know, studying math, teaching math, doing research. And there's still people out there who go to college and they get their math degrees and they pursue that. They pursue mathematics, they learn new math, and sometimes they end up producing new math. And it's like the study of mathematics is endless. So how in the world can you become an expert and what is considered a math expert? So in this video, I want to talk about that because I want to talk about a book that you can use to learn tons of mathematics. And I've talked about this book before and I feel like the title of this book is, it's not misleading, but it kind of indicates that it's for another audience. And it is. This is a book that's written for engineers. But this book contains so much mathematics and it's just absolutely beautiful. You know, I had a student who was a physics major and I remember talking to him in my office about this book and he also appreciated the quantity of mathematics, I just have to smell it, that is found in this book. I feel like if you bought this book and you worked through it, you would be a mathematics expert because it contains so much information. Now, before I show you this book, let me just say that this book is kind of expensive. Um, the first time I bought this book, I had to buy um, like a paperback copy and it was used and was falling apart. And then I decided to splurge and get a hardcover. This is Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Erwin Kreisig. That's right, this is the same Kreisig who wrote the wonderful book on functional analysis. Um, his book on functional is super awesome and it's probably the easiest one ever written. This one, however, is on mathematics and it covers so many topics. And that's why I think that if you had a book like this, um, it could lead you on the path to just learning so much math and essentially calling yourself a math expert. Most people don't know this much mathematics. I mean, look at this. Let's just carefully look at the content so you see how much math this actually contains. So it starts with review of some topics from algebra and calculus. So functions, partial derivatives, that's calc three. Determinants, that's linear algebra, complex numbers, polar form of complex numbers, some stuff on computations, uh, solution of equations, and then approximate integration. So wow, more calculus there. Differential equations, so now you have like a course on ordinary differential equations basically. At least this is the beginning, right? So like if you were to take a course on differential equations, many of these topics would appear on the first two exams and some of them you wouldn't even study perhaps, right? Because there's some approximation techniques which you might skip. So already you're getting a good chunk of differential equations plus some extra stuff. And this is just in chapter one, right? So on your way to becoming a so-called mathematics expert, more on differential equations. So here again, this is more stuff you would see in a DE class, right? Tons of stuff here. Then you go to power series solutions. Again, more differential equations. Laplace transforms, right? Quite a bit here. So all differential equation stuff. Then you jump to calculus three stuff, so multivariable calculus. This is something you would learn in a calc three stuff. So you've got differential equations, you've got calc three, you've got more calc three here, some more multidimensional stuff, including Stokes. Then it goes back and it touched on it at the beginning, but then you have more linear algebra, right? Matrices and determinants. So something you would learn in a linear algebra class, right? So pretty, pretty nuts. So calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, and you have Fourier series and integrals, something that you know you probably wouldn't see, right? And then partial differential equations. So this is a whole separate course you can take in college, which is pretty amazing. So we've got calculus, linear algebra, differential equations, Fourier series and integrals. Then you go into complex variables, right? Complex analytic functions. This is another course you would take in college, usually a 4,000 level course. Usually to study this, you have to have some Cal 3 and perhaps some linear algebra, so it makes sense they throw it in chapter 10. More complex variable stuff, more complex variable stuff. Then you get to revisit some Calc 2 stuff with sequences and series. So you see how having a book like this and working through it, it just exposes you to so much math. Taylor and Laurent series, this is more complex variable stuff. Residues, complex analytic functions and potential theory, special functions, and then look at this. There's actually a chapter on probability and statistics. So you cover that. And it's mathematical, right? It's not just like, 
oh, this is what a hypothesis test means. No, 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 which is good. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's more in depth. Um, let's, let's just jump to that. Oh, and you have answers, by the way, to some of the odd numbered problems. Let's look at that probability section because that's something that most people will probably not look at because it's near the end, but look at this. This is something you would learn in a mathematical statistics course, uh, which usually uh, calculus is a prereq for, calculus three. And it's really cool, right? A lot of people don't study this stuff. This is nice. I just have to smell it. My copy just smells so good. Ah, so let's look at the very beginning just to show you how easy it starts out. So it starts out really simple. So like, even though I feel that this book can make you a so-called math expert, it starts off really, really simple. It says here, this introductory chapter includes some topics which are usually covered in elementary algebra and calculus. We shall refer to sections of this chapter whenever we need some of these topics as a prerequisite for our further consideration. It says, in this section, we shall present a collection of some basic formulas for reference. It talks about, you know, the exponential function, tells you what E is, some really basic identities. It tells you the, the inverse of E to the X is the natural log, which is really cool if you graph them both, which he doesn't. Um, they are reflections across each other, uh, across the line y equals x, rather. So this is e to the x. If you draw the line y equals x here and you reflect it across y equals x, you'll get the graph of the logarithmic function. That's a property that every function and its inverse enjoy. Really cool stuff. And then, oh, here, there's the graph of the log, so you can see how it's a reflection, right? So if you take this and reflect it across the line y equals x, you'll get this, right? But he doesn't do it on the same graph. And he talks about sine and cosine. So already you're, in, you're talking about trig, even in odd functions. It's deriving some identities. I mean, it's just, this is page three, right? Some more trig identities. Talks about the hyperbolic functions. So that, that's cool. This is page five. Gives you some, some values there. And then boom, you're at the problems, right? You've got some cool problems, you know, some easy stuff, some, some identities. Then it goes, uh, over here to partial derivatives, right? Explains what a partial derivative is geometrically here with a cool picture. So it's just got a lot of really good mathematics. It's a good layout, it's clean. He has really small sections. Notice how small the sections are, right? So 0.2, I like books like this that have tiny sections. So 0.2, boom, boom, you read it, you're done. You got some problems, 0.3, you read it, you read it, you read it. A little bit longer there. You read it, you got some problems. So short sections um, that you can work through and I don't know, it's just a nice layout, very nicely laid out. Uh, I, li I like Kreisig's books. It's just got so much mathematics. And this is a book, I guess it's meant to be like a reference book perhaps or, or, or a book you could use for like an applied math class if you were an applied math major or a physics major or an engineering major. So this book is intended, again, it's advanced engineering mathematics. But I think that, uh, again, that title is misleading. I think this could make you really good at mathematics because it has so much math and it exposes you to so much mathematics. So it's a great way to either review or learn some, some new topics. The biggest con of this book is the price. It's, a, it's an expensive book. I paid quite a bit for this used copy. I smell it again. And this one did have a dust jacket. That's the, um, the cover, but uh, mine didn't come with a dust jacket. So yeah, just wanted to show you this book. It's pretty cool. Um, I recommend trying to get it uh, if you can find a copy. I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, to this book in case you want to check it out. If you want to learn mathematics, I do actually have math courses. They're on my website. It's mathsorcerer.com. Now, they're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to get any of my courses, please use the links from my website as it helps me greatly. Also, it helps you because I've lowered the prices to make them as low as possible. So when you click my links, you should get a low price. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. And I do have another YouTube channel on fitness. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer. Anyways, if you take away anything from this video, it's that this book can really lead you towards the path of becoming a math expert. Wow, vector analysis, look at this. So much mathematics in this wonderful book and it has this title, I mean, it's for engineers or advanced engineering mathematics, but it's got a lot of mathematics in it and I think it's one worth having in your collection. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.